Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth, has always fascinated with its majestic yet merciless nature. Since Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay first reached its summit in 1953, thousands of climbers have attempted this grueling expedition. Recent discoveries on this mountain have shaken the mountaineering and scientific communities, revealing terrifying secrets hidden in the ice and snow for centuries. Macabre traces of lost expeditions, unexplained natural phenomena, and evidence of previously unknown dangers shed new light on this monumental mountain. Bodies of climbers from the 90s. This macabre discovery occurred during an expedition on the northern side of Everest in 2023. The bodies of two climbers who had gone missing in the 1990s were found. Melting glaciers revealed these icy graves, which serve as a grim reminder of the dangers associated with attempting to climb this mountain. These bodies, incredibly well preserved by the cold conditions, provide valuable information about the fates of those who perished during their ascent. The discovery took place at an altitude of approximately 8,300 meters, near a popular climbing route on the northern side of Everest. These climbers were part of an international expedition that aimed to reach the summit in the 90s. Their disappearance had been shrouded in mystery for a long time, with no information available to their families or the climbing community about their fate. The expedition that discovered the bodies stumbled upon them by chance while researching the effects of climate change on glacier melt. The bodies were in good condition, allowing for the identification of the climbers based on documents and personal items found with them. Among these items were family photos, letters, and notes, which now provide valuable information for researchers and climbing historians. The discovered bodies were dressed in climbing gear typical of the 90s, also providing data on the equipment standards and cold protection of that time. The clothing was made from materials that were modern for that era, but may now seem outdated compared to current high-altitude climbing technologies. These bodies, well preserved by the cold conditions, allow scientists and researchers to better understand the difficulties these climbers faced and what might have contributed to their deaths. Analyzing their equipment and clothing provides valuable information about the conditions in which they had to fight for survival. Their story is a grim reminder that even the best preparation and modern equipment do not always guarantee success on this deadly mountain. The discovery of the bodies of climbers from the 90s has caused a stir in the climbing community and among the families of the missing. For many, it is a painful but important closure to the long uncertainty about the fate of their loved ones. These findings not only remind us of the dangers of climbing Everest, but also of the human tragedies that are an inseparable part of the history of this majestic mountain. The body of George Mallory, one of the most significant discoveries in the history of climbing Mount Everest. In 1999, during a search expedition, the body of the legendary British climber George Mallory, who went missing in 1924, was found at an altitude of approximately 8,230 meters on the north face of Mount Everest. Thanks to the low temperatures and dry conditions at high altitudes, Mallory's body was exceptionally well preserved. He was found wearing tweed clothing and basic climbing equipment from the 1920s. Mallory's body bore signs of injuries that suggest he might have fallen while being roped to another climber, likely Andrew Irvine. The rope was wrapped around his waist and was broken, indicating a fall during climbing. Sunglasses were found in Mallory's pocket, suggesting that the accident might have occurred after dark or in poor lighting conditions. The expedition that discovered the body also found several of Mallory's personal items, including an altimeter, nail scissors, a knife, and a tailor's receipt. Notably missing was the camera that Mallory was supposed to take to the summit to document their ascent. 
The absence of this camera leaves open the question of whether Mallory and Irvine reached the summit before their tragic deaths. The discovery of George Mallory's body generated immense interest among the climbing community and historians, bringing renewed attention to one of the greatest mysteries in the history of Mount Everest climbing. Although it was not definitively established whether Mallory and Irvine reached the summit, their story remains an inspiration to many climbers. The discovery in Kumbu, one of the most gruesome discoveries on Mount Everest, occurred in May 2017 when a team of rescuers found the bodies of four climbers in a tent at an altitude of 7,950 meters in Camp Them Four. These bodies, likely two Sherpas and two foreigners, were found during the search for another climber who had died a few days earlier. Rescuers came across the bodies while attempting to recover the remains of Slovak climber Vladimir Storba, who had died near the summit. This discovery shocked and horrified the climbing community. The cause of death for these four climbers was not immediately clear, but it is suspected that they might have died from suffocation in the enclosed tent, a relatively rare but possible hazard at high altitudes where oxygen levels are extremely low. The Kumbu Icefall is one of the most dangerous sections of the route on Mount Everest. It is known for numerous crevasses, seracs, and avalanches, making climbing in this area exceptionally risky. In 2017, due to global warming, melting glaciers began to reveal the bodies of climbers who had died many years earlier. Ong Chering Sherpa, a former president of the Nepal Mountaineering Association, confirmed that global warming is accelerating the melting of ice on Everest, leading to the discovery of bodies buried for many years under snow and ice. Transporting bodies from such high altitudes is a logistical nightmare and requires the involvement of many Sherpas. The bodies must be carried down to lower camps, from where they can be transported by helicopters. This process is not only dangerous but also costly, making it so that not all bodies are removed from the mountain. Finding the bodies in the tent at Camp of Four is a reminder of the brutal conditions and unpredictable dangers that climbers face on Mount Everest. Green Boots This is one of the most famous and terrifying discoveries on Mount Everest, associated with the body of Indian climber Tsiwang Paljor, who died in 1996 during his attempt to reach the summit. Paljor was part of an Indian expedition celebrating the 50th anniversary of India's independence. His body is located in a cave at an altitude of about 8,500 meters and is recognizable by the distinctive green boots he was wearing. On the day of his death, Paljor and his two teammates were close to the summit when the weather suddenly deteriorated. They were caught in a snowstorm and the temperature dropped sharply. In the confusion and difficult conditions, Paljor became separated from the rest of the group. His body, hidden in a small cave, was later discovered by other climbers who came across it during their ascent. Paljor's body is well preserved due to the extremely low temperatures at this altitude, which adds to the eerie nature of the find. The sight of Green Boot's body is a horrifying reminder of the dangers associated with attempting to climb the world's highest peak. Climbers must pass by his body, which is not only a macabre experience, but also a reminder of the fragility of human life in the harsh conditions of Everest. The body of Green Boots has also become a symbol of the difficult decisions climbers must make at high altitudes. In the so-called death zone, where oxygen levels are critically low and conditions are extreme, rescuing others is often impossible. Many climbers have had to continue their journey, passing by Paul Jor's body, highlighting the brutality and unpredictability of mountain expeditions. Additionally, the story of Green Boots is a reminder of the technical and physical challenges these expeditions entail.
Climbers at this altitude face extreme cold, low oxygen levels, exhaustion, and often unreliable equipment. Green boots, therefore, is not only a macabre find, but also a testament to the courage and determination required to climb Mount Everest. In the years following his death, the body of Green Boots has become a reference point and symbol for many climbers risking their lives to conquer Everest. The story of Tiwang Paljor and his tragic death remains deeply ingrained in the consciousness of mountaineers, reminding them of the ongoing risks associated with an expedition to the world's highest peak.